In this video, we will learn about four different things of Windows 10. First of all, we will learn how to make appearance of desktop icons. Look at my desktop. There is only one icon and that is the recycle bin. But I want the icon for this PC, the icon for control panel and much more. So how I can access those icons? For that, if you right click on the desktop, then you will find something like personalize. Click on personalize and from personalize, you can go to themes. From themes, you will find something like desktop icon settings on the right hand side if your window is fully maximized click on desktop icon settings from here you will find a dialog box something like desktop icon settings and here is a tab named desktop icons from here you can make appearance of desktop icons something like for computer control panel and users file apply this checkbox then make it ok now if you go to your desktop then you will find these new icons which you use usually ok great now we will learn our second thing how to create desktop shortcut for a specific applications sometimes it becomes so handy when you double click on a shortcut on the desktop and when you can go directly to that application okay if you want to do that Click on the start icon and from the start icon choose your desired program for which you want to create a desktop shortcut. In my case, I want to create a desktop shortcut for Microsoft Word. So I am going down for Word 2016 and here it is. Now. I am just dragging it to my desktop directly. Look here, a shortcut has been created. If you double click on this shortcut, then the related program will be opened. By this process, you can create a desktop shortcut of any applications. The third thing is, will know about how to set the date and time sometimes you may fall into a horrific situation that you cannot change your date or time or maybe your date and time is not correct according to your region or according to your watch so how you can change this date and time for this go to your settings first then from settings go to time and language single click there and look here here is some buttons set time automatically this means if you are connected with internet if you make it on for set time automatically then your time will be automatically changed to the correct time of the world actually not on the context of world on the context of your time zone so what i am doing actually you can change the date or time manually by change by clicking on this button directly and from here you can change the date and time manually but i am not doing this 
I'm already connected with internet so I am setting my time automatically look here my time has changed and it is automatically updated but the bad news is it is not the Bangladesh time so if I want to change my time to Bangladesh time I have to change my time zone I can change my time zone manually from here or I can set my time zone automatically by making it on okay my current time zone is specific time US and Canada so I am changing it to Dhaka so making it on okay great my time zone has automatically changed because I am connecting with internet look here this time is the correct time for my region great the fourth thing is we learn how to change default programs so what does it mean by default programs so for example if you go to this PC and if you go to different files something like I am opening some audios from here something like audio songs and if I double click on a file then one application will open this kind of file what application will open this file is the default application for this file type so if I want to change this default programs then I have to go to my settings from settings I have to go apps uninstall defaults optional features single click there and if you go to default apps from the left hand side then you will find a list of default apps which you can change if you want for example in my case my default music player is PLC media player but if you want to change your default music player then you have to click there and you will find all the app which are able to play music as for example I want group music for Windows 10 to play my music so now if I click on double click on a music then not the VLC player but the group player for Windows 10 will open that kind of music file okay my default application has changed okay look it again I am showing it to you directly by changing it directly look here my music player is group music right now here is the icon of group music but when I am changing it to Bills media player it is also changing to Bills media players icon so this is the process how you can change the default programs I think today you have learned a lot about Windows 10 about four different things of Windows 10 if you like this video please give a thumbs up and if you a new guy to this YouTube channel please subscribe to our YouTube channel because every week we publish two or three videos which are technology related and this kind of video will be very helpful for your technological life thank you